Hey guys, welcome back to program of and today in this episode we're gonna talk about VMware versus parallels in the new MacBooks with Apple Silicon processors. So if you want to create a virtual machine in the new MacBooks with Apple Silicon processors, be it M1 Pro, M1 Max or the M1 processor, so which software should you use to create a virtual machine because there's a lot of number of softwares already available into the market but which one will be suited best for the macbooks with apple silicon so there are right now two options available one is parallels and other one is vmware but there's a major difference in between the both parallels is a really stable software right now available for creation of virtual machines as compared to that, VMware is just a pre-released version, so there's no charges to be paid until unless we don't get a stable version of VMware Fusion. So if you want to use VMware, you can actually download that for free completely on your new MacBooks with Apple Silicon, but there are some limitations to that, there are some issues to that we'll be talking about in this video. So let's guys, let's talk about parallels very first. So I have specifically tried to use parallels for a lot of period of time right now from the point where I got the new MacBook with the M1 Pro processor. So I have used that for a lot of tests over here. We have tried to test almost all the versions of Linux as well as we have also tried to use that for Windows 11. Also tried to use that for Autodesk softwares in Windows 11. So everything in parallels is really good and it works like charm because that's really more easy and comfortable to create virtual machines into fraction seconds of time with no custom installations to be done and no custom settings to be done. So it's really easy and really efficient in creating virtual machines. As compared to that, when we compare VMware Fusion with parallels so the VMware fusion is already in pre-released version so there will be some bugs and issues into it and what we have faced is that they don't have a preset option for creation of windows 11 arm 64 version of virtual machine so if you want to use windows 11 and vmware so that is something that is not provided already as a preset rather you'll be needing to create a custom virtual machine and that's something really buggy and really stressful because there's a lot of steps to be required to be done and followed on to just to create a windows 11 virtual machine and at, at the end of the day the experience of windows 11 in vmware fusion is just not great enough or you can say equivalent either as compared to the parallels experience for windows 11 on vmware it seems like we are trying to use a virtual machine so guys, that is the one reason why I don't recommend VMware as a virtual machine software for using in the new MacBooks with the M1 Pro or with the M1 Max or the M1 processor. So if you want to use a software for creation of virtual machines in any of the new MacBooks, you should go along with Parallels. Parallels is a lot more better software than VMware Fusion right now because we don't have a stable version of VMware either available till now. So we cannot say anything about it until unless we don't get a completely stable version of VMware Fusion in the near future. So only if we get a completely upgraded VMware Fusion version so we can try to compare that with Parallels. But right now into the market there is one and only one software that is currently available for creation of virtual machines and that is Parallels and that is really more amazing. And guys there is one good news for you if you are a student you can grab up a 50% discount on student edition of Parallels so there you can get a parallels subscription just for $40 per year so the link is down in the description below you can just click there and have a look at to that and guys if you got any more questions any more queries please leave that down in the comment sections below and if you liked our video please hit that like button subscribe to our channel to meet in the next episode till then goodbye